Conquering Mega Eagle. Someone's been very generous and given us a Volkswagen engine adapted for aircraft use in boxes, which has got to be better than having it in one piece, isn't it? Um, we've had a little rummage. You've been doing some rummaging, haven't you, Ash? All oh, right. That's Ashley's rummaging face for anyone who hasn't seen it before. Um, uh, got um, got the bottom end missing a few studs. Uh, haven't really been over it too much. Don't know if there's any damage there. Some old pistons. A couple of these. We've actually got two halves of two magnetos. Both front halves of these Lucas mags and some oh some adapter plates, which. I should imagine bolt them onto the the back plate there. I don't know. Um, it's a couple of G clamps as well. Woo, look at them. Um, that's a loop of that one. Uh, secure the engine. Box there. Some old crap. I don't know. What's in that box? What's in that box? <laughs> Gubbins. Gubbins. What are they? O rings and, and whatnot. I think they're oil seals off the mag. Are they? Who knows? Anyway, um, this one looks like second hand cylinders, but they're hardly hardly worn at all. There's no corrosion on them, they've been packed away quite nicely. Got the rings and the gudgeon pins. Uh, still still cross hatched, a little bit of it's shone up, but I I don't suppose they're at all out around. Got some uh, valves, unfortunately, a few of these. Are a little bit corroded on the seats, so I don't know what we'll do there. We'll try and clean them up, see what happens. Bag of old rings. Moving on. Here's another box of. So these all look brand new. They're not brand new. Yeah, they're fucking brand new, man. Look at that. Look, still that gudgeon pin is brand new. Tell me that's brand new. That's not brand new, is it? No. No, that's that black inhibiting grease. <laughs> no, that's not brand new. It's uh, crusty, like, carbon. Like, like, you don't expect. They're all right, they're fine. Okay, so these ones are not brand new. They look fairly good, though. They look fairly good. We've got a um, box of oil pumps. A box of oil pumps. How many oil and pumps do you need? Oil pumps and fuel pumps. All the pumps in one place. No, the unique pumps. Oh, these are different. Oh, slightly different design there. Slightly different design. Yeah, you usually see it up there. Uh, scavenge filter. Uh, is that there? Is that, that's probably the important uh, adapter in the end of the crankshaft. That this looks like very it. important. That looks like it would take a propeller, doesn't it? It does look like it would take a propeller. Does that screw in there, perhaps? Oh, are we looking for a taper shaft on the end of the crankshaft? I, I don't know. Is a yeah, what a mystery, what a mystery. Uh, they're all valve seals and stuff. Do you have valve seals on there? Ooh, fuck it. Yeah, oh, a a gasket. gasket kit. Uh, various other gaskets and whatnot. I think we'll put them back in the bag before we hide this box away. Um, you find a carburetor? Oh, there we go, a nice box of greasy valve gear. Push rods, I don't know what that is. It's like a crankcase debris or something, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, where did we get to? I think we went through this box. Um, yeah, the grimy valve gear. Uh, um, ooh, I think this is the, um, this is the, the sump, or as close as an Volkswagen engine gets to a sump, sump plug in it, anyway. Um, uh, lovely bits, lovely bits. Bearing there. Uh, chuffs that for. You bearing like that on You've got a little needle bearing in the end. We're not overly familiar with bolts, I can Wow, look at that. It even has VW stamped on the bolt. Is it German? Hmm. Exciting times. That is the bit of wire that holds the rocker covers on. I did have a beetle. I mean, it was as good as a TTV, obviously. Um, we've got another box here. There's a box. Uh, there's the big box. And regardless of everything else, this box is a peach on its own. Oh, oh um, 
Well, it looks like we've got too many con rods there. How many cylinders is this? Two. Um, by the amount of pistons we have. Like, Twelve. <laughs> we've got all the con rods in the world. All the Unfortunately, they've all been dangling about in here, so I would be amazed if they've not picked up any, any little nicks and whatnot, but... Hmm. Look at that I beam push rod. Not quite the shittiest, but it's close to the shittiest sort of push um, push rod. The uh, com rod you can get. Not wobble. Oh, everything's been so nicely packed and greased. Everything, not everything, but you know. The important bits. They don't look like they've seen much use. There's a beautifully polished up. Um, uh, where, where are we on? Yeah, that's the main, isn't it? And the big ends that love being polished. Camshaft. Yeah, it's picked up a little bit of corrosion, isn't it? But nothing major. It just looks so new, doesn't it? That gear, anyway. There's no, no wear on the gear, is there? Anywho, uh, another con rod. Another Piston con and a con rod. Another one of those uh, bearing things. Does that, does that take the end of the... No, that's too small for the camshaft, isn't it? Is that got a tape? That has got a tape on it. Uh, and a keyway. Okay, so this this con rod, I think. I know, I don't know. The um, camshaft, well, no, the other one. There's a blank plate. No plug in that one. Another camshaft. A little bit more corroded than the last one, unfortunately. In the gear. Short clean up again. If we need it to. Um, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this one's got all the gears on it. Oh, uh, that one's straight out of the car without being dicked about, I suppose, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's where we're at with that. White metal, white, white metal bearings. Are these? No, this is heavy. I don't know. We'll have to do a bit of research on this one, I think. I think it's like a, a Villiers engine. It's not really um, quite self-explanatory. Little, um bag of nuts and waffles and whatnot. And oh, another con rod. Yeah, and another crankshaft. Oh, and some followers. Oh. Ah, top hats. So are these yeah, these don't have hydraulic lifters do they? Do they um do we have nuts on the on the valve gear? There's the rest of the studs. Okay, I think they're more than enough studs there, don't they? They look like a couple of engines left of studs. Oh well. Oh, perfect bodies, one more cam followers, one more cam followers. Yeah, I think it's, no, uh, yeah, it won't have a droid lifters, will it, because it's got a socket in the end there. Unless there's a, lift, I don't know, a little bit of spooling on the, on the end of the follower. Not great, but I think we'd reject that if it was going back in an aeroplane. Um, that's all the bits we've got hold of so far. Uh, allegedly there are a couple of heads to go with this engine and hopefully they've been drilled to take uh, two sets of spark plugs uh, stay tuned on this epic Volkswagen box of bits build uh, to find out if we can make this thing run and uh, I suppose ultimately what we do with it if it's if it's never going to go back in an aircraft then hey I like the sound of a hovercraft. Ash wants to make a Volkswagen powered lawnmower. Oh, um, no? Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, hair dryer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle.